Hello everyone, sorry for not posting as regularly as I used to. I had an important exam, so I hope you guys understand. But we have received some exciting information about the Harbingers, including Capitano, Columbina, and the others. So let's get right into it. But before that, the banners of Keenich and Raiden Shogun are now up on all servers. And if you've run out of Primagems and want to save some money, just visit lootbar.gg. Lootbar is a great way to top up for your favorite games like Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail, as you can save up to 20% on all your top-ups. Over 100,000 people have used it so far, and it has more than 5,000 positive reviews, so it's 100% safe and secure. And it's also in direct partnership with authorized top-up partners of Hoyoverse, so visit lootbar.gg to save up to 20% on your next top-up. Alright, it's been a while since we got anything new on the Harbingers. I mean, we did see Capitano fight Mavuika and all that, but we didn't get much information about other things, like where Columbina is and things like that. And just a few days ago, we finally got some news from sources like Snezhfed, PTL, and others. But keep in mind that this info is still early, and it might contain some spoilers. So here's a spoiler warning. Snezhfed recently shared a ton of info about the potential events, characters, and designs for Snezhnaya. One of the major takeaways from the leaks was that the Tsaritsa and Piero will do something with all the Gnosis they have gathered, which is pretty obvious considering that's what they've been doing since the game was released. But the surprising thing is that this event will likely cause a separation of the Fatui Harbingers into two factions, conservative and radical. According to Snezhved, the Tsaritsa and Piero's plans with the Seven Gnosis might be related to Project Stuja. For those who don't know, it is a secret project first mentioned in Arlecchino's story quest. According to Linny, Project Stuja is a collaboration between the Rooster, aka Pulsinela, and the Regrader, aka Pantalone. Arlecchino and Linny also suspect that the two Harbingers might be trying to involve the house as a key player since they were able to obtain the Hydronosis and control their influence. And just for the record, Child was also recalled to Snezhnaya after the events of the Fontaine Archon quest because of his role in Project Stuja. However, he was not very eager to take part in it. Given Arlecchino and Child's unfavorable response to the project, the Harbingers splitting into two factions wouldn't be surprising. Snezhfed also claims that a Winter Knight's Lazo supposedly teased the Fatui Harbinger's two sides. Assuming their position on each side of La Senora's coffin indicates the faction, one side includes Capitano, Pulsinella, Columbina, and Sandrone. Meanwhile, the other includes Child, Arlecchino, Pantalone, and Dottore. However, Piero is likely neutral. That said, this doesn't make sense since Pantalone and Pulsinella would end up on opposing sides, unless they were to disagree on something. Snezhved has a decent track record, so the leak is likely reliable, but you should take everything with a grain of salt. Other than that, most of the concept art for Snezhnaya characters, bosses, and locations for version 6.0 has been finalized. This means that we might receive more and more information about Snezhnaya and new characters in the coming months. As for Columbina, she is currently in Snezhnaya, which is why we haven't seen her yet in Natlan, but it's very surprising considering she was supposed to clear up the mess created by Capitano in version 5.1 or 5.3. Apparently, she's taking care of a place called the Royal Vivarium, which is something similar to a mixture of a botanical garden and a zoo. They also said that Columbina was supposed to be an extremely powerful necromancer, but this information is quite old and might not be relevant today. One more thing, do you remember the raccoon guy named Pulsinella? Yeah, that one. Apparently, he was supposed to be an Electro Catalyst user, or still is. It's unclear at the moment. Moving on, according to the source, the Harbingers aren't the main soldiers of the Tsaritsa. She has a special army, or royal brigade, like special forces for Snezhnaya's defense, and it's called the Drekovac Brigade. Lastly, some info shared by a team from an unknown source suggests that Capitano's real name is Perrin Harry. However, it's still not confirmed, but considering how all Harbingers have different names, it might be Capitano's real name. Anyway, that's everything we've got about the Harbingers from Snezhfed and the others, so that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more.